What's going on, y'all? I hope all is well with you. What? Get your smell goods at JeronsHalalProducts.com. Let's get it, y'all. Why don't worry about competition? That's what I'm going to be talking to y'all about in this video. Why I don't worry about competition, right? Now, competition is good generally, of course. You know, it helps you to grow. It helps you to get better, right? Generally, that's what it's designed to do. But when I say I don't get caught up in competition, meaning I don't focus on what everybody else is doing. And that's the point I want to make in this video, right? Because through my years of doing business, I realized that most people, right, tend to think about competition according to conventional wisdom, right? And when I mean, when I say conventional wisdom, I mean, you know, let's say for example, right, if I'm selling this product at a low price and then a competitor is selling the same product at an even lower price, right, the general way of thinking or what most people would do is they will say, oh, you know what? If he's selling his for 10 and I'll sell mine and I sell mine for five, right? Then I'll get more customers, right? And I'm going to make more money because I'm selling mine for cheaper. That can be true, but that varies. That concept, that business model, right, which I which I like to refer to as an obsolete way of thinking, that business model only works, it depends on the industry that you're in. Let me say that, right? If I sell my product at a cheaper price, then I'm going to get more customers and I'm going to make more money, right? Again, that works depending on what industry you are in, right? Now, I was, I would like to share a story with y'all, right? Right? So, where I keep my story, where I keep my, where I store my inventory at, for those who have seen the previous video when I showed y'all, you know, how I, push the cart, I set the tent up, and this is how I've been doing business for year, for years, no without a storefront, right? Now, where I keep my inventory at, right? One of the workers, she said something to me. She was curious, right? And I found it very interesting, right? And I like when people ask me questions, right? And you know they you know they want to learn and stuff like that, right? She said Oil man, she called me oil man. She said, oil man. <laughs> she said, let me ask you something. How do you make profit? Because she noticed I always come late. Right? According to her perspective, she noticed I come at a certain time and I bring the car back at a certain time. Right? So she studied the pattern. Right? Of course, and then she became curious and then I explained to her, she said, do you make profit? So I explained to her, I said two things. I pointed out to her, two things. Number one is by me charging more, I could pay for my time, right? In other words, The amount of time it will take me 
to make what somebody else is selling body oils is selling uh, uh what somebody uh the amount of time it would take me to make what somebody else would make that sells body oils as well I cut that in half by charging more right so now I could buy back my now I could buy back my time. It's, all, it's almost like a form of leverage, right? Because remember, I don't have no team members, right? I'm doing everything by myself, right, for the most part, right? So I'm buying back my time now. So I have to work. I only have to work. She's confused. Well, man, you know, he's coming in about four hours. He's working about four hours. I see him coming all the time, right? So obviously his, his you know, he's he's... The business is running, right? But I'm confused, right? And this is it, right? I charge more and I work less and I deal with less people, right? Contrary to popular belief, contrary to conventional wisdom, again, every strategy depends on the business model, right? Every strategy is not going to work with every business, right? Right? So, it's all a matter of what industry you're in. Now, another thing I explained to her, right, is that I'm not worried about the competition because my customers don't come to me because of my price. My customers come to me for two reasons. Number one, they come to me because I don't cut my oil. I sell quality oil. Number two, nobody could duplicate my character. Oh, <laughs> y'all ain't catch that one, boy. <laughs> Comment below. Listen, and understand what I'm saying. I could be replaced, right? So don't ever think that you irreplaceable. I could be replaced. But there will be a there will never be another Jerron. Never. There's never gonna be somebody that got my swag. You can't duplicate my swag. You can't duplicate my character. I'm me. I'm unique. I'm special, right? And I sell that. I put that into my product. So you can't, even if you sell yours, let's say if a guy come right next to me. Right? And I've, throughout my years, I, I've had people that try to compete with me and, you know, think they was going to put me out of business. And I mean, people have, it, you'd be surprised at the intentions that people can have, right? And sometimes it's the people that you least expect, right? And you can't duplicate my character. So now, when I put my character in the product, listen, nobody could duplicate that. They may sell an oil similar to mine's. They may even sell the same quality of oil. But they can't sell my character. And when I say they can't sell my character, they can't duplicate my character is because I put my character into the product. What do I mean by putting my character into the product? It's not just a transaction no more. I build relationships with my community. I build, I build trust. All these years, I build trust with my community. Oh, y'all not, y'all still not catching it, man. <laughs> this is why I don't advertise Right and, and I'm not saying it's wrong to advertise Some people advertise I don't advertise Number one 
there's a couple reasons why I don't advertise. And this is a connection to the topic, why I don't worry about competition. I don't advertise, right? Because number one, this is the most important rule right here. I take care of my people. I take care of my customers. I take care of my community. That's the foundation right there. I do not fuck around with my customers. I'm 100% honest. I deal with my customers straight. I don't fuck with my customers because I understand that my ability to stay employed by my community, right, is dependent on how I deal with the people. This is the foundation right here. If people could grasp this right here, this fly over people head, it just fly over your attitude. That's what I'm saying. Your attitude. Your attitude is everything in business. People don't understand that. You will be surprised. You would be surprised. And this is common sense. Your attitude. Another reason why I don't pay for advertising, right? I'm going to show y'all something, right? I don't have it on this bottle, right? This is a personal bottle, by the way. But what I do... Right, I put my label, my number on the bottles, right? So, let me ask you a question. Why didn't I put my website on the bottles? Because people will call me faster than they will go to my website, right? It's easier to put the number in the phone and just call versus... Pull up that uh, uh, Google in the website and, you know, that's a little bit more, right? And then now, you have a direct link to me, right? So, with body oil, unlike cologne and perfume, people are spending, people are spending a lot of money on, on cologne and perfume. So, they're not going to walk with it. They're going to keep it in the house, right? But... For body oils, people are not spending that much on body oils, so they walk with the body oils in their pocket, right? So nine out of ten times, if somebody asks you what you got on because you smell good, you're going to tell them what you got on. And then the, and then I understand also that after that, people are going to want to know where you, get, where, where, where you get that oil from. Where you get the oil from? Oh, you know what? Look, his number's right on the bottle. Here's the number. Call me. That's it. They just call me. A lot of my customers is repeat customers, but I get called a lot of time from a lot of strange people, right? They call me. Oh, so-and-so and so-and-so. Yeah, shoot, come on over. Right? I never have to pay for adver advertising. I used to pay for advertising, but I don't. After learning what I learned from trial and error through experience, advertising for me, from my perspective, I'm not saying for everybody else, but from my, from my perspective, is a waste of money. Right? It's a waste of money. I could take that money, right? And deploy that money and invest it in other assets, right? Right? So now I have leverage. I have leverage. I have leverage with my money now, right? So another reason why I don't pay for advertising, right? And this again, all of it, all of this is in connection to the topic. Why I don't worry about competition, right? Because Oh, yeah, I know y'all going to miss this one. <laughs> so pay attention. Most of my customers have social media. Oh, man. Listen, let me ask you something, right? I don't need clout on social media. 
if my customers got clout and they sharing my work, right? They got clout is a form of leverage now. I don't need to be on social media. I don't need social media. And that's just going to consume my time, right? And it's going to drain me mentally, right? Because social media has a psychological and emotional effect on the brain, right? Which I'm not going to get into in this video, right? So they promoting me and I'm not even there on social media, right? My account is open, but my customers is promoting me, right? Another reason why I don't pay for advertising, right? And this is the last one right here. So we went over the first one. I put my number on the bottles, right? Well, actually, I take care of my community. That was the first one, right? I serve my community. I put my number on the bottles. My customers have social media. And then the last one, last but not least, I do, I do like a bonus reward, right? So I have... I set up a culture, right, within my business that every every time my customers bring me a customer and they spend money, right, that's the condition, the, they, the person that they bring me actually spend money with me, right, I give them a free bottle of oil. So this encourages them to spread the word for me even more, right? So they getting something of value. They getting a free bottle of all of their choice, right? Of all that they want, right? And I'm getting what I want in return. They spreading the word. So it's a fair exchange, right? It's a fair value exchange, right? So this is it. It's just that simple. It's just that simple, right? So I never have to worry about uh, competition and let me ask you something you ever go you ever go to a, one of those shopping areas a shopping area and then let's say you might see the nike store the adidas store uh, uh another sneaker store and then let's say you might see a restaurant let's say bbq's uh uh ihop i'm just making stuff up right and then let me ask you something right do you think Adidas is worried about Nike. Adidas had their own clientele. Nike had their own clientele. Do you think BBQs is worried about IHOP? They have their own. Everybody had their own clientele. Everybody is not your customer and everybody can't be your customer. Once you understand that everybody have their own clientele, is a is a this is a Abundant world we live in. It's enough for everybody. But most people have a poverty mindset. So they think that, oh, if this guy has a million dollars, then he's taken away from the guy that doesn't have nothing. No, it's enough for everybody. It's enough for everybody to eat. The only thing you have to do is develop yourself, work on your skills, right? Put time into whatever it is that you're doing. Stay consistent. And the results is going to come. But most people don't understand this because they don't have patience. They want everything to happen fast overnight. And nothing, nothing, let me say this. Right? Because I don't want to say nothing fast happened overnight. It can happen fast overnight. But more than likely, from experience... More than likely, anything that happened fast is not going to last. Oh, y'all ain't catch it. Oh, man. <laughs> if it happened fast, it's not going to last. Right? So, I hope y'all got the message of the video. Y'all already know. I'm curious as to what y'all think, too. Right? Comment in the comment section below. JeronSaladProducts.com. You smell good.